Hello everyone. Our job for today is configuring trunk. Trunks are required to pass VLAN information between switches. A port on a switch is either an access port or a trunk port. Access ports carry traffic from a specific VLAN assigned to the port. A trunk port by default is a member of all VLANs. Therefore, it carries traffic for all VLANs. This activity focuses on creating trunk ports and assigning them to a native VLAN other than the default. Part 1. Verify VLANs. Step 1. Display the current VLANs. Step 2. Verify loss of connectivity between PCs on the same network. Although PC1 and PC4 are on the same network, they cannot ping one another. This is because the ports connecting the switch are assigned to VLAN 1 by default. In order to provide connectivity between the PCs on the same network and VLAN, chunks must be configured. Part 2. Configure Chunks Step 1. Configure chunking on S1 and use VLAN 99 as a native VLAN. Things are successful because chunking has been enabled on switch 1. Dynamic chunking protocol has automatically negotiated in the other side of the chunk links. In this case, switch 2 and switch 3 have now automatically configured the ports attached to switch 1 as chunking ports. Step 2 Verify chunking is enabled on suite 2 and suite 3. There are VLAN 1, 10, 20, 30 and 99 allowed to across the trunk. Step 3. Correct the native VLAN mismatch on Suite 2 and Suite 3.
Step 4. Verify configurations on C2 and C3. To configure trunks, we set trunk mode first, then assign the trunk port to the native VLAN. That is all for this activity. Thanks for watching.